Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. Today, I am out here in the garden. Well, of course, like I always say, where else I am going to be but in the garden? Um, why am I in the garden so much? This right here is my nine to five, and this is where I come on out here and just get to work and do what it is that I need to do. You know, pretty much tend into the garden, tend into the plant, and everything else that is garden pertaining to outside. All right, so what I am here today to go ahead and do um, is to harvest. We're going to be doing a large harvest here today, guys. Now I'm going to tell you why I am out here harvesting, what it is that I'm getting ready to harvest right now. Uh, we have been experiencing quite a bit of rain here in Grow Zone 8A, guys. Um, just about every day we have been getting rain. Now, my whole plan for uh, the onions here, that is what I'm getting ready to harvest. My whole goal for these onions was for them to go ahead and kind of do a little bit of the drying in the sun. Um, but guys i won't be able to do that um, because i don't want these onions to go bad out here um, over here on this side of course there's no longer onions there if you all remember i took you all on in when i planted these onions now uh, those one i've already harvested them out um, I think with the daylight uh, hours uh, they did started bulbing out real early and plus, I did plant them out a bit late as well. Okay, so these ones, they was planted, I want to say about two to three weeks before I planted these ones out over here. So these guys, these ones, now same variety. Okay, same variety. But these ones, they show up and they show out. Now, if you all remember last year, we did a video, the biggest onion that I ever grow. OK, I would want to say that these ones right here this year beat uh, the ones that I grow last year. That was the biggest. OK, so today I do have my wife kitchen scale on out here in the garden. And what we are going to do, the biggest onions that are that is in this bed right here, we're going to weigh it so we can see what size they are now there are quite a bit of huge onions down here guys um and i pretty much I, I i showed you all how we went about planting them now one of the things that i want to i'm gonna take you all down low one of the things that i want to point out to you guys as well it's not really you don't necessarily have to space your onions out too wide apart okay if you notice how close these onions right here are and they did really well guys now what i did with these onions here to get them uh you know give them a real nice boost now all the onions that are in the garden is pretty much they pretty much got the same treatment okay now some varieties are showing up uh better than some um, of course, the other ones, like I said, I did plant them a little bit late. And once we get through with this harvest here, I want to show you all those experimental onions that we was experimenting with. All right. So um, no further ado, guys. Like I said, you see how close I plant these onions and I did them that way so I can save space in the garden. And I want to go ahead and get them pulled before the rain comes again now once i pull them because they are a bit wet i am going to put a fan on them so they can hair dry that way they don't develop any mold underneath the shed because the weather is just real humid and just it's real gummy all right so we're going to pretty much just start down here and we're going to pull the first one okay and that's the first one there all right now that is a pretty that's a pretty decent size onion right there okay okay that is another one and i think what we're going to also do before we put them up uh for storage i'm going to have my wife to go ahead and peel off all those um 
uh, wet, yeah, wet papers because we, we don't want these onions to go bad on us, guys. Okay? So, yes, yeah, properly, properly call them to cause them to mold. That's right. But those are some real nice onions that we are getting out of here today. Now, these onions, they was ready uh, quite a while back. Okay, quite a while back. Now, you may say, hey, Mr. Humble, how you know that your onions was ready? Um, what we typically like to do here on the homestead we usually like for those neck to get real soft and fall over, okay? So once they get soft and fall over, that right there is that sign to let you know that your onions is ready to be pulled, all right? So you can look down the row and see most of these. Yes, as... Right up top, it's falling over. Mm -hmm. Look at that, guys. That is a beautiful, beautiful onion. Now, this, this would be... Uh, something that you would get from out of the store right here. Look at that. Real nice onions. Feel like, uh, you know, a little under a pound. Just that one. Huh? Just that one. Yeah, just that one right there, yes. Okay. I know I said I'm going to let my wife peel those, but it's just one of those things I want you all to kind of see what these onions is is looking like as we pull them okay and as y'all can see right here guys it's already get real it's real soft and mushy um we don't cut the tops, um you can cut the tops um but when you cut them you know right there about where the neck is soft at okay. you could cut right there and just leave them uh like that okay but we, we definitely what you want to do once you start laying them out underneath the shed you don't want them to be touching one another, okay. um, especially with what they got going on here right now with the moisture. With the moisture yes. Okay. Yes, that is a nice onion. Look at that. Wow. That is pretty. Now, I don't know if this is the biggest one here in the garden, but I can say this is the biggest onion i ever grow okay now i have grown onions in the past guys um put that one to the side hold on put this one okay yeah, put, it, yeah. put it to the okay. side right there all right all right you can just pull them I'll just pull them, them. you yeah. pull them all right them, yes wow that is a I think what we'll do all the big ones come on over son all the big ones, we'll just pick them and kind of come on around this way. All the big ones, we'll stack them on the end. Yeah, we'll stack them on a different size because we want to pick all the big ones out. Pick a big one out and weigh it. Okay. Maybe one or two just to see what the weight is on these onions we here. Nice onions. Yes, that's, it's not bad at all. Not bad. And the thing about it is, like you said, we planted the same variety in the bed behind you. And because of the two and a half to three week difference in the planting time, the bulbs did something totally different. They bulbed out really small. Yes. So it's all about timing, I suppose. And then even looking at looking at these, uh this about, these are a little bit smaller. We do have some small ones in there that we pull from out of this row right here. Mm -hmm. But there was coming somewhat right there around yes. that size right there. Some a little bit bigger. Okay. Wow, that's a big one. So this right here was about somewhere around the size that we was getting from out of that side there. Look at that. Go ahead, put that over there. There's another big one.
and we're definitely going to have to put a fan on these right here because I don't want them going bad. You know, definitely not. Yes, a lot of work went in here. Um, a lot of time, energy went in there. You know, not a big one here. Oh, yeah, that one double, double split. Hey, still eatable. You know what? Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one. I could feel the weight on that one right there as well. All right. And so what we will do, um, once we harvest out all these onions, um, while they're in storage, we're going to make sure that we find any that is damaged. Um, those are the ones that you want to use in the kitchen first is the damaged one, because if not, um, they can uh, rot on you while you have them in the storage. So it is also important while you are storing your onions to kind of check on them every now and again, just to make sure that you don't have any going bad or even dripping on the other onions, causing those ones to go bad as well. Okay. There you go. All right. And guys, I'm telling you, beautiful, beautiful onion harvest. All right. Wow, look at that. There you and go. These were from store bought sets. Yes. From store bought furnace sets. Absolutely. But timing uh, make a big difference. You have to make sure you plant them the right time, okay? Because if not, they're going to give you a different result if you plant them at different time, all right? Um, so here in grow zone 8A, um, our onions that we're supposed to be planting in this area is short day onions. All right. So um, that's a big one there. And I'm telling you, um, this rain kind of messed me up a little bit because, like I said, I wanted them to just dry outside, you know. Um, and then I, once they get to that stage where... I think they're good enough. I was going to take them and put them underneath the shed so they can finish off. But hey, you know, it's one of those things we just have to, hey, do what you got to do and just take what the good Lord give us. If this is the weather he give us, we just have to be happy and content with the weather. All right. All right, here go a couple more big ones. Put those down. All right, it's going to be a big pile down there. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful onion harvest wow and guys one of the thing that i just want to let you all know that i am just so thankful to the most side for just you know hey i'm i'm just thankful wow look at that i'm just thankful for the most side for just just you know just keeping this garden man i'm telling you um even though sometimes, you know, things may be thrown at us out here in the garden where that things is being damaged and all that different kind of stuff. Um, it is still just a blessing because even those things is damaged. Guess what? I have life. And if you all remember, um, even when the goats it came in and damaged uh, my brassicas over there. You know, I came back on outside and I fixed it. And I'm telling you, the most I bless it. He bless it and it grow 
and it just grow. And for that, I am thankful. And, you know, it's just a beautiful thing to be able, be able to come on out here and get your hands in the dirt and grow your own food. Mm -hmm. um, who would have thought that it would have been this much food I'm pulling out of just this little no-till garden bed right here? You know, um, I come on in, I amend the soil, I, I <laughs> take care of the soil, build the soil, and in turn, um, all that I put in that to feed those microorganisms in the soil and everything like that, you know, the microbes, the, 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 the bacteria, the biology of the soil, in turn, give a beautiful, beautiful harvest. And for that, Father, I am thankful. Okay, so nonetheless, uh, we're going to go ahead now and have my son to go ahead and start putting all these onions in that uh, bin up there. And so my wife can go ahead and start peeling them back. So what we want to go ahead and do real quick, like I said, I'm going to show you all the experiment uh, onions that we have here. And so y'all can see what they're doing, guys. OK, now. Um, this here is going to be a long day onion and what I'm trying to do is trying to find my little marker so we can see what kind of onion. Oh no. Oh no. Huh. Let me see. Nothing. Out. Nothing. What a bummer. What a bummer. Well, nonetheless, guys. This right here, yes, <laughs> oh my goodness, like come on. So nonetheless, as y'all can see right here, um, that right there is, it's a long day onion. It's a long day onion. Um, but as y'all can see, probably so, but as y'all can see, it didn't really do much. Um, what we can do is come on out here, pick them. At an early stage, clean them up just like this and just still use them in the kitchen. Use them as scallion, okay? Because if y'all notice, they're not bulbing out for us, all right? Not at all. They are not bulbing out. So, I'll take yes, absolutely. We, we ain't going to throw that away. So, um, I don't remember the name, but y'all can see what they're doing. They're not really doing much okay so what we're going to do we're going to move on over to the next side and show you the other varieties and i'm praying the name is there mm -hmm. so we can show you all what they are doing and when once we're done we'll come on back and weigh some of these onions stay tuned okay and so here is the other bed that we planted out more onions all right now what i'm noticing as y'all can see this variety right here did started a bolt for us now guys i did plant these onions out late okay and i think that is why i'm getting some of the result that i'm getting so next year i will try again especially definitely with this variety um let me see and as y'all can see the wording is barely there but i believe that's the global um onion oh, yeah, global. variety right here okay so that's the global um okay, so we're gonna try this again but earlier yeah a little earlier just to see um like what the result and that was long day right yes and that was a long day onion absolutely all right um, i think that's the well oh that's the wellington i think I believe okay so uh we did have a few wellington wordington? is it wordington mm -hmm. we'd have to go back and check yeah. but um we did have some that we planted out here um it's the red variety and guys no nope. um nothing mm. they didn't so do you think do... it's our timing <laughs> could be timing mm. could be timing so like i said next year we will plant them out again but we'll make sure we try and plant them out earlier okay. to see what they'll do for us okay because um you know hey it's nothing wrong with a little experiment in the garden here all right so this variety right here uh the marker is actually over here which i think this is the texas uh texas granos 
the only short days we planted. Yep, Texas granules. All right, so this is actually a short day uh, onion, but like I said, guys, planting them out late, this is why we're getting the result that we're getting here. Because I pretty much, those big onions over there, I treat these the same way, um, coming in, um, say, once a week and putting in uh, fish emulsion, okay? That is what I was using to fertilize these. Um, and also that um, gardener tone, I will come on in and sprinkle a little bit of that to give a slow release to these onions here, guys. And so, hey, the heads, uh, the bulbs are not a great size, but they're still good in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And be thankful for whatever the most I bless you with. All right. Uh, so right down here is... Uh, this right here is the Elsa Craig onions in this area right here. And Elsa Craig didn't do anything for us. And this, yes, is a long day onion as well. Um, I'll go ahead and pull one. That is what they are looking like right there. But, you know, the daytime is um, the day length time is just not right for them. And that is why they did what they did. But um, nonetheless, like I said, we can still use these in the kitchen for scallion. Okay? We can use them for scallion, and that's what I'm going to do. We're also going to come we're also going to come on out here and pull those as well. All right. So, all right, guys, let's get on back on over here and go to weigh in some of these onions to see uh, what the weight is looking like on them. Come on along and let's go. Okay, and so here we are. We're going to go ahead and weigh up some of these onions here. Now, real quick, I did have a, a subscriber to ask me a question, I, and I just want to go ahead and answer that question for you guys before I move on. Now, they was asking, can they harvest the scallion that is on top um, to keep, you know, keep, their, keep it from just drying out and just going to waste. Okay. Now, one of the thing is, yes, you actually can go in and cut them and use them. Once your onion have bulbed out and it's ready, you can go ahead and cut all the way up to the top here and leave about that much room down here at the bottom so they can go ahead and dry out. You don't want to cut them all the way down here. Um, you may run the risk of uh, you know, messing up the bulb of your onion. All right. So you could cut it, cut the top all the way up there and use the rest of that dehydrate it, make some seasoning or something with it, um, in the kitchen. All right. So, um, during growing season, um, yes. So yes. So during growing season, yes, you also can harvest some. What I typically would like to do in my growing season um, sometimes these parts, they get so big to where that they'll bend like that and fall over. Okay. Now what I will do, I will come on in with my scissors and cut them right about there and take those in the kitchen and use those for seasoning. Um, one of the thing is you don't want to come in and just snap all the top of your onions off. Um, you, you're going to slow down growth on your onion like that. And you don't want to do that. Okay. So that's why I would only come on in and get the ones them that is uh, bent over like this and I'll cut them and I'll take them in the kitchen and I have a little scallion that I can use inside. Okay, so. Um, right, we're going to get the rain because the rain is Yes, starting. the rain is coming again. Okay, um, just trying to find, you know, the biggest one. I think what we'll do, we'll, we'll get about three big ones mm -hmm. and we will weigh them and see uh, what we have here. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So this here is onion number one. Okay. Okay. One pound, 2.3 ounces. Wow. All right. Okay. Next one up. One pound, 2.7. Oh, wow. So we're pushing one pound onions. Okay. One pound, one, pound, one, one ounce. Okay. okay. One pound, one ounce, guys. All right, so um, what? 
yeah, average average in a pound. Now that is not bad at all. That is not bad. Um, you know, right. Go ahead, MJ, and you can load them up. Try not to beat them up too bad because you don't want to bruise them. You bruise those onions. Um, that's you cause them to go bad quick okay and they won't store well if they're bruised guys all right so like i said you see again the rain is up on us guys garden work don't never stop it never stops so um i do have a few more back here that i have to also get out all right so guys um nonetheless None of the less, guys. I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. Uh, you've seen us plant these onions, and today we're bringing you all along with us to harvest the onions. And I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, guys. If you like the content that y'all got here today, go ahead, throw that thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, keep a smile on your face. You be happy, you be cheerful, and you be blessed. And I'm getting ready to get out of this rain. Woo, that is heavy. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and get this cooler on out of here. Um, these onions, they are already wet enough. Be blessed, guys. Oh, man.